In this video, we're going to be talking about negative indexes or indices. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So to start off, let's just go with a positive number without the colon. So we're not doing slicing yet. We're going to get to that in a second. But for now, let's just focus on one number here. We run this and we get, what do we get? We get H. So it's going to grab the second character there. So W is index zero and then H has index one. Well, what if we do a negative one? How does this affect things? So running this, we actually get a question mark. So it doesn't even know the answer. No, I'm just playing. It's actually grabbing this character right here. So the first character on the right has the index negative one. So you may have thought, oh, it would be negative zero because the one on the left is zero, except the whole concept of zero and negative zero doesn't really make sense. There's only one zero. And in fact, I'm gonna show you just to prove my logic here. And we're gonna get into logic later on here but I'm gonna print and we're just gonna do a little comparison here. So I'm gonna say zero is it equal to negative zero? Running this and we get true. But if we did something like one and negative one, mm, false, not a thing. So that is why the character on the right starts with negative one. So that's your introduction just grabbing one character, but now let's try slicing. So we'll start with a positive number and then convert it to a negative number to see how things change. So let's go with, I don't know, let's pick a number. Let's go with five and then a colon. So running this, we get am I and a space at the beginning. So our original poem, where am I, is now much more deeper because it's not even asking where, it's just asking am I? So we are reaching depths that I was never even expecting. But now what I wanna see is what happens when we switch this to a negative five. So running this now, we get am I without the space. So when we do a positive five, we start at index five. So we say index zero, one, two, three, four, five. And because that number is on the left of the colon, we include that index. So this space was included because it's index five. When we say negative five, we're starting from the right. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Also, it is inclusive. So we start with the A. So when we say negative five colon, we are saying, hey, we wanna get the entire string starting from the fifth index from the right. So starting at the end, go back five characters and give me all of those things. Now let's try a number after the colon. So if we put a five here, all right, let's go with something else. Let's go with a seven. Running it with a seven, we get where A. So when we put a number after the colon, we're saying, where do we want to go up to? So starting at the beginning, we go index zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seven is not included. So when we put a number on the right of the colon, it is exclusive. So we stop here. The seven is like the stopping point. Consider there to be a wall before that index. So we grab everything up to index seven, but not included. So that is why we get where A. Now let's try a negative number. Running this here, we run it and we get were. <laughs> and basically now we're going to go up until the character that is negative seven. So seven from the right. So starting from the right, at negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. So this E is the character at negative seven index and it is exclusive. So we're not going to include that character, which is why we get were. So I'm not gonna lie, this can be confusing, especially when we're getting a negative numbers. I literally have to go through this and think like which, which ones are gonna be included. And oftentimes, you know, I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna try to grab this word and I'll get one character off. And then I have to like adjust by one number. And that's not the end of the world. You get more used to it over time and, and make less mistakes. But don't feel like it's the end of the world if you don't get it perfect because you can go back and test it and try to get the right substring. Drinking coffee ASMR. Oh, that's hot. Oh, ow, 
In the next video, we're going to take this what's kind of already a little bit confusing and make it a little bit even more confusing by not only putting a starting point or a stopping point, but putting both. So you can put a range from where to start all the way up to where to go to. So stay tuned for the next video. That'll be really fun. I don't know. Yes, it'll definitely be fun because everything we do on this channel is fun. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe.